So, The Last Jedi is an interesting movie to talk about. And in fact, it might actually be unfair to really judge it because we don't really know the entire answer behind whether or not it's good, whether or not its storylines go with places we enjoy, whether or not um, the questions we wanted it to answer ever truly get truly get answered. Episode 9 is a, next year, year and a half away, and I think it could color our view on this movie. So it's kind of weird to talk about it because it's unfinished in a way. It's also strange in that it's very controversial in that I've seen people say it is the best Star Wars movie ever and that they really liked it and that it works as a movie outside of the Star Wars genre. And I've heard people say it's the worst Star Wars movie and that it doesn't get Star Wars, the director didn't understand the spirit of Star Wars or anything like that. So that's weird. Very strange, very varied response, which I think speaks to the great many people that are Star Wars fans and how they want different things. Now, when I saw it, I thought I thought it was somewhere in the middle. I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think it was a great movie. I've only seen it once. Maybe it'll it'll grow on me as time goes. But um, I'll talk a little bit about the things I didn't like first. I think it suffers from some of the same problems as Force Awakens in that it seems like it feels like things are happening just because it happened in Empire Strikes Back. Like they're always running away from the empire because that's kind of what happened in in the in episode five there's a not snow based land battle with ATATs where they have to destroy a rebel base and the thing protecting them that's straight out of empire strikes back there's training sequences with a experienced jedi there's a lot of things that happen in this movie that happened in empire strikes back and I don't think you can get away with it just because you make a joke towards the camera about the white stuff being sand and not snow. Didn't like that. However, on that same train of thought, I thought this movie did a better job of taking your expectations for what Star Wars is and what's going to happen in a, in a middle movie in a Star Wars trilogy and kind of turning it on its head. So while there were aspects of it that felt very worn out and familiar to the point where my dad said, like, well, yeah... I don't know if they need to keep making these year after year because he's kind of seen this stuff a little bit too much. It was better. It, uh, it did some things that were unexpected. It did some things that were a little bit braver. It did some things that were probably felt like to certain people in the fan base telling them that this is not important. Why did you think this was important? Which I can understand why that would be offensive to some. Now, what I liked about this movie and what... I could I re, I thought some people wouldn't like because it was very psychological. There's less pew pew action and more psychology when it comes to the characters. And since there's a lot of important characters in this trilogy and they all get their own storylines, I could see how that would be boring to some people. I liked that though. I liked the interplay between Ray and Kylo. I thought the movie was all about them and them trying to it was basically a battle of wills between them. They each had their own individual masters, they each had their own uh, thought process when it came to what they felt they should do and what was right in the universe and they fought about it They fought about it physically. They fought about it mentally. They fought about it emotionally. I Thought that was interesting. I, I think their discussion of what they should do with themselves and what is good and right and all that stuff is way more interesting than Than some of the combat sequences or another trench run or something like that. That was cool. I liked how Poe the pi fighter pilot had his own thing where he grew as a character and realized that he shouldn't be so hot-headed and that he should value his troops and stuff like that. And Holdo, who I probably was a controversial character to some, I didn't really get the need for her or get where she, where she was going until I saw that she was part of Poe's storyline. I like the fact that Poe is a storyline. We'll see if that we'll see if that goes anywhere in episode nine. I, I suspect with Carrie Fisher passing away, that'll probably be more of his role as the leader of that but anyway um finn also had a storyline where and this one I, I know people didn't like where he went off to the casino and he learned that people in the world are terrible and profit off of either side of the conflict which seems to be his thing going forward i, I like that i liked his little side character and all that stuff um honestly one of the my favorite things about the movie is probably something that 
people that didn't like this movie disliked the most in that I really liked what they did with Luke Skywalker. I've heard Mark Hamill is not necessarily a fan of what happened with Luke Skywalker, but I haven't really read all his arguments and I don't necessarily think that's important. I think you can get too attached to your character and not necessarily see the forest for the trees sometimes, but that's just my opinion. I think the people saying that this was not Luke Skywalker and this was out of character to be Luke Skywalker are ignoring the idea that Luke Skywalker at 50-something, having seen some shit, should not be the same character as young Luke Skywalker finding his way in the world and and accomplishing his first big successes. Like, you are not the same person at 20 as you are at 50. If you are, something has either gone very wrong or very right in the world that you never had to grow and change. So I totally get why he would be jaded and cut off from the force and isolated and shameful and guilty and and um, and grieving about his inability to save the people he liked and and shameful at his at his thought that he was better than he actually was and that he could make these right decisions. I totally get that he would be a hermit on some on some puffin riddled planet in the middle of nowhere. I love the fact that the first thing you saw in this movie was him from him was him tossing his lightsaber into the ocean and just walking away. Like I get that this that his whole character was to be the Yoda for the new him in Ray, but I thought I thought his acting was great. I thought his storyline was great. I really liked what they did with Luke Skywalker in this movie. And I get that some people hated it, but I thought it was excellent. Really, really good. Now, the theme of like kind of casting away the old bullcrap, I thought of the Force and the Jedi Order and stuff like that, I thought it was interesting in that it very much acknowledged what had happened in the prequels and how the bureaucracy of it and them thinking they were the shit led to their downfall. I thought that was that was a good way of, of connecting those universes and acknowledging the story that you've written already, perhaps perhaps a little bit uh, a little bit unintentionally. So I thought that was fine. Um, I thought it was interesting. We'll see where it goes. I, I personally am not insulted by, by this movie suggesting that some of the things, uh, previously stated as important when it comes to the Jedi Order were not important. That's fine. That's definitely fine. Um, some of the, some of the, some of the characters that were eliminated and some of the questions that were not answered, I think you have to talk about in this movie because I think it might color your opinion of this movie. When Snope died, I was like, I did not like that character. I thought he was random. I thought he had no purpose. I loved the fact that when he passed, that he passed away because it showed that he was part of Kylo Ren's character and nothing else. It does not matter who he is. It does not matter if he was the Emperor Palpatine or a clone or whoever the hell. It doesn't matter. This is Kylo's story. He's not needed. Um, I liked how his interplay with Hux as well, and, or Hux and uh, Kylo's interplay as well, for that matter. So the big question that people didn't like the answer for, I think, in this movie was, and people apparently get insulted when the director says he doesn't know the answer either, which I don't buy that for a minute. Somebody knows the answer. It's somebody knows the answer. Don't worry about it. Was the whole, who are Ray's parents? This suggests that it doesn't matter. Um... Which it might not. I don't necessarily mind a story in which the hero is nobody from nowhere. But I think, I just feel, my theory is, I feel like too many things have happened in this movie to make it awkward that she's not somebody famous, related to someone. I personally think she's Anna, or she's a Han Solo and Leia's daughter. That's my opinion. I feel like there's a lot of things between her and Han in the first movie that if it's not Han being proud of a daughter he can't talk about, don't make any freaking sense in the world. 
But when Kylo Ren says that you're nothing, from, nobody from nowhere, I really think he's being uh, manipulative. He's trying to break her down so that he can build her up with him. I think that he is trying to get her to join him. I think he's lying or doesn't know. I don't necessarily think that is the answer. So that's just my opinion. I could be totally wrong, but I, I just get the gut feeling that she is his brother, Han's daughter, Leia's daughter. That's my opinion. Twins run in the family. There's things in this movie where Kylo and and Rey are speaking with each other across the distances of the galaxy. And yes, Snoke says that he did that, but the same movie features known twin siblings, Luke and Leia, doing the exact same thing. So I really think that there's been so much to to suggest that she is she is Kylo's sibling. And let's be honest, um, if they're cousins, that's kind of a random amount of attention to pay to your cousin. So to sum up, I thought it was good. I didn't think it was great. I still felt like it suffered from the same trap as Force Awakens, but not as bad. And I'm curious to see what Episode Nine does to this movie. I do think people will enjoy it more with time. And yeah, that battle sequence with the guards is pretty freaking awesome.